How about this matchup? Fifth ranked Kentucky taking on the number two team in the country, the Terrapins of Maryland. Hi again, everybody. Brad Nessel with Dick Vitale. We welcome you to Rupp Arena. Dick, 23,000 plus. The Wildcats line up like this. Turner and Prince in the backcourt. Bradley down low and Paget with Hashimu Evans, who's starting to really exert himself. Almost 14 points a game now, and we've seen him twice in the last 10 days, and he has been their leader. Nice ball movement. Morris, he'll try the long-range jumper. Rebound, Akizi underneath with that big body. I'll tell you, he's become such a factor on the inside. He is the big key here tonight. Hello, Evans! Hello! He has become a star. No longer is he Jason Alexander the George Costanza. He's going to make the all side field team. He's a star now, Brad. And you hear the move. Shimu Evans puts Kentucky in front by one. Just a minute in. Evans, a lob underneath. Profit couldn't handle it. Turnover Maryland, and here comes Evans on the run. Turner slices through, but he missed the shot. Paget. What a great pass. Evans to Bradley. What an anticipation by Evans. Great eyes, great feel. They are pumped up, Kentucky. They want a little redemption. They want to Coach played for the steal. Prince had a thought. Paget's a good outside shooter. Excellent passer, Evans. Got it. Evans comes right out after the big night against Indiana when he had the 22 and 9. Not wasting any time. He was so big in that game. And Prophet Francis and Morris. Evans packs it inside to Padgett. He's right a great back passer. outside. Evans for three. Got it. Great passer. There's the experience. Padgett and Evans. And I'm talking winning experience. Dixon kicks outside to Prophet. Moran, nice move. Too strong on the shot. Kamara to Smith to Evans on the run. He made a tough catch and got it. What a great look by Saul Smith. What a tremendous pass. But you're right, Brad. That was a tremendous catch. Great hands to be able to convert that in transition. Now watch this. The great look by Saul Smith. But what a catch and a conversion. Being a lefty made that a little easier That's for right. him. Good point. Being a left-handed player made that a little easier. As there's Profit up there with the little bump. The little bump and run. So Hashimu off to a great start again. Ten points already. We're not even at the midway point of the half. And we have tied things up, and he's got a chance to put Kentucky back in front. And I always get amazed how so many people say there's no way he'll get any PT playing time transferring from Manhattan. He can't play at Kentucky. Can't play. Where would they be without him? What a win today, Connecticut. Unbelievable. Elamine with two seconds to score and get the winner against Pittsburgh. 22-21, Kentucky. 11.58 remaining in the first half. Well, in 2000. Wow. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> You're running, mate. You'll be my assistant. <laughs> and we're going to take a look at Scott Padgett. Does a great job recognizing the double up and kicks the ball out. See, goes inside. Freeze it right here. See, as soon as the guy comes down, now he's going to spot up to their good shooter right here. And Mr. Evans is going to be wide open. There's the recognition. Good job. They're big people. We talked about it earlier. Well, Evans and... France is certainly certainly haven't disappointed us so far, especially Hashimu Evans, who just continues to get better. It seems every game we have him. You know what? I wrote to the basket. He's falling away with his great size. He's got to attack the glass, attack the rim. His first shot inside, he squared up a lot better. He's, as you said, falling away now, going the wrong way. This Kentucky with that outstanding spacing, trying to stay 15 feet apart, get good ball movement, spread the defense. They're well coached, well drilled. But it's CM Newton making a great choice when he selected Tubby Smith. Evans a nice drive. Padgett tried to follow it. Evans got it back, and he's fouled by Akizi. I'll tell you one thing. The Kentucky kids really get on a glass. They really, really bump and grind. 40-33. Kentucky in front by seven at the 340 mark. And Maryland, remember, coming into this game, they had led nine of ten games at the 16-minute timeout. Nine of ten games at the midway point. They have never trailed at the five-minute mark or at halftime, and they're behind in each category tonight. So Kentucky's turning things around a little bit. Hashimu Evans putting on a show, though, Dick. Hashimu showing the perimeter, jump shot, showing his ability to get to the rack. I mean, he's an explosive play. That's the great catch and transition to conversion. Today, I mean, he doesn't know how to use a room key, probably. Wow. <laughs> he said, that's how big and how much attention they're getting right now. Well, they are the hot ticket, without a doubt. Obviously, without any NBA influence going on right now. And as good as Maryland is, off to a 10-0 start for only the third time in team history. Well, 
Dick Let said earlier, one time they got off to an 11 0 start a couple years ago. And it, yep. Five point game, three minutes left in the half. Change of defenses right now. Go to a little zone. Going to go to a little zone and try to match up. Paget's the guy you want to match up with in Evans. See, Prince has to understand what a good shot is. He has a tendency to step out of his range. He's a long ways away right now. Evans will try the long range three, and he's got his third of the half. I'll tell you what confidence he is playing with. And I guess the reason is because it seems everything's going down for him. Dixon try one on the other end, and it rims out. Kentucky by eight and with the ball and running. This guy's made himself a pro, man. He's made himself a pro. Paget oh! inside the Prince. Oh! That super transition basketball, and they love it here in Lexington. Look at all the blue shirts. Oh, they love it. See how Newton's jumping up with joy down in New York City. Out there. All you people at halftime, get something to eat, but don't go away, baby. Don't go away. Get your food quick. Reese will have all the halftime scores and highlights, and we'll be back here. Turner, Paget at the buzzer. He got oh! In overtime, their defensive pressure is what won them that game. Inside Evans. What a breakdown by Maryland. Special situations. You guys talk about it in football all the time. Gets that steal there. He and Profit really one two on a team in steals. Profit behind. But nobody will catch Johnny Rhodes at his 344. That's right. It's an ACC record. Evans, he'll try triple. And got his own rebound. Nobody boxed him out, and he'll do it on a reverse lane. I'll tell you to be an outstrap now. That's just being pure out hustle. That's being not focused. Gary Williams cannot be happy with that effort right there. There's Evans with the jumper. Now you're gonna watch the hustle award. There he is. Goes right to the basket. Nobody rotates up. And bounds. Francis on the bench getting a breather as Stokes is back in there behind the keys. You see Terrell. You know, I've been in that situation years ago as a coach, and right now you know your team has played so well. Tubby and his staff, they peek at that clock consistently and say, do we have enough? Do we have enough? <laughs> we keep watching that clock. Akizi has 19, and it's a seven-point ball game. They're going to the trap. They like to deflect from the rear of the trap. Good job breaking the pressure. Evans. Evans. Three. Got it. Oh, what excellent ball movement. What a superb clinic on handling the trap. Spread the court. Move the basketball. It's wow. Nino Evans, a career high, 25 points. What a tremendous job of moving the ball, Brad. I tell you, we bring the best out. I know you love him. He can't be a Jason Alexander any longer. No longer is he a George Costanza. He's a super, baby. Just call him Moo. There he is. Reverse it to Moo. There he is. Moo. He goes down. There it is. And the Maryland crowd goes boom. <laughs> His fourth three-pointer for Evans. Look at the way they reverse the ball. Look at the way they swing the ball. That is a clinic of ball movement. Evans is actually the guy that started that ball moving around the perimeter and finally back to him. Look at Francis. Simo Evans at the line for two. 18 points for Francis Evans has 26 as we said it's a continuation of a career high for Hashimu. I'll tell you one thing you know the stock market some stocks they keep going up up and up <laughs> some go down I'll tell you one thing right now the stock for this guy keeps going up up and up baby yep. his stock keeps rising Mr. Evans I wish I would have bought in about midway oh. through last year I know it's too late <laughs> to buy it now that's my problem with a lot of stocks I jump on too late oh well, well the stars we expected to shine have been a beacon at Rupp Arena 27 and 6 for Hashimo a career high for him and five assists six rebounds and 20 points so far for Steve Francis and two other guys that are really starred you don't see their picture there and that's Wayne Turner and Scott Padgett absolute Padgett got another rebound that's a bad shot right there by Francis he's trying to challenge the big guys he's trying to go too much one-on-one -on -one now Turner dishes inside to Evans and he's fouled. There's the little things Wayne Turner does. Find the open man. Steve Francis trying to go a little too much one-on-one -on -one right now, Brad. Got to take. You got three people down here. You somebody's know somebody's open. Free, right. You got to be able to spot up someone and kick it back out. Well, Hashimu Evans is just shattering his previous best as far as scoring because right now he has 28 points. And you know, it's not only his offensive productivity it's a presence on the floor he has that great athletic ability that really gives them such a spark defensively he really gets out in transition 
Akizi. Get Akizi a touch inside. That or Morris. There's Morris. And he's blocked but fouled by Prince. They really take great pride defensively, Kentucky. You could see that. I mean, holding teams this year to 37% field goal percentage shooting. What happens here tonight, Brad? Make no bone about it. Maryland has got an outstanding team and will have a great year. Hashima Evans has never hit the 30 point barrier until now. Yes, sir. There he is. The big 3 0. I mean, you get 30 in a game like this when everyone is needed. You know you're a PTP. You know you're special. Moo will try one more here. He's hit five straight from the line. Make it six. Got the roll. He's been awesome, baby, with a capital A. He's been awesome. Still two possession possibility, but Maryland needs a three now. And really making him drive. They're taking away the three. Ball is loose. Padgett's got it again. It's over. The seniors winning experience nothing like you know you talk about experience but there's a major difference between winning experience right. and experience. Look at and those there's numbers. a nucleus that also was part of a national championship last year remember also a part of the national championship three years ago final game two years ago. Between Ricky Williams and the Big Blue of Kentucky in hoops, those are the two big stories in college sports. And that's going to do it for us. Final score, Kentucky 103, Maryland 91. Maryland loses its first game of the season.